Welcome to our city abandoned lot. Even though it wasn't taken care of, thanks to the sun and the rain, we've got tons and tons of medicinal herbs right here that is available for us to use. This is a plant called wild lettuce, and it's a wonderful plant that can help us very much for those of us that live in cities. It helps for muscle cramping. It's a mild sedative and can help us sleep. It's also good for anxiety and nervousness. It's got some slight opiate qualities to it, so it's very, very calming. Notice the plant, it's got jagged leaves. It starts as a very small plant, gets bigger, and then starts to flower. One of the ways to identify the plant is that if you crack the stem, it will have a milky discharge. This plant is easily recognized by its stunning yellow color. Very often I'll make yarrow tea and make it into little ice pops for children so when they're experiencing a fever they can suckle on the ice pops and it makes them feel much better and the yarrow helps the body fight the fever. This plant has so many uses. We also use it with ulcers and hemorrhoids. Here is a plant called jewelweed. Notice the green leaves Sometimes you'll see them flowering these gorgeous orange flowers. And I don't have any water with me, but if you put a little bit of water, it will make like a little jewel. It'll, it'll congeal itself into a jewel type form and that's one of the reasons it's called jewelweed. Keep your eyes open for jewelweed because most of the time when you see jewelweed, there will be poison ivy very close by. One of the miracles is that jewelweed, if applied to an infected area, will neutralize the poisons of poison ivy and most people will not get an outbreak. That means what you do is you take the plant, you crush it in your hands, you rub it into the area where the poison ivy has touched, and you will not get a horrible poison ivy rash. Good. Now look at this truly stunning plant called Echinacea. Look at its gorgeous purple color. Happens to be a plant that people can use for many, many different situations. It helps stimulate the immune system. You can take it at the beginning of colds, in the middle of colds, and you can use this herb preventatively. If you're going traveling and you know you're going to be losing sleep, being disorganized with time, more vulnerable to get sick, you can take Echinacea pre preventatively. As the weather changes when we go from gorgeous summer into the fall, gets cold, Echinacea can help stimulate the immune system and help prevent colds. It can be used with children, adults, moms, dads, grandparents. It is really one of the most spectacular herbs we have available to us. This perfect plant is called Queen's Anne Lace or Wild Carrot Seed. It's used for urinary tract infections. This can be easily mistaken with poisonous hemlock. Therefore, do not pick this yourself and do not tincture it yourself. It is distinguishable from the poisonous plant from the hairs on the stem, but this is used for urinary tract infections. In the summer, it has these gorgeous flowers, and in the fall, it turns into a seed. We use the medicine both as a seed and as a flower. Okay. Walking down a city street, past a very busy parking lot, who would expect to find wild mint growing? Completely edible, medicinal, and usable mint. So here we go, once again, through the cracks of the concrete, we have mint growing. Look at that beautiful plant. You can use mint in salads, soups, chicken or fish dishes. You can use it as a tea to help you with stomach aches, indigestion. Mint is a calming, soothing, delicious smelling and tasting herb. So walking down a city street, I was shocked to find mullen growing right out of the concrete once again. Mullen leaves are used for all respiratory problems. This plant has outgrown its use of the leaves and it is starting to flower. 
Look at these gorgeous little mullein flowers. So you take a glass jar and you take the mullein flowers off the plant. It takes a lot of mullein flowers in order to make mullein oil. Once you've filled up the jar with mullein flowers, you'll put oil, I prefer to use olive oil, over the flowers. Close your jar, let it sit for four to six weeks, and then you have mullein oil. Mullein oil is the number one oil we have for ear infections. It helps reduce inflammation and it helps with ear pain. You can put it in your child's ear two to four times a day. It's okay if they put their finger in. Don't worry about that. The oil will reduce inflammation, will help with pain. Mullein oil is often mixed with garlic oil, which is a an natural antibiotic, and it's also mixed with St. John's wort, which is a natural painkiller. Look at another plant that's growing in our city streets. This is a thistle plant related to the famous milk thistle. Milk thistle seeds are used to cleanse our liver. Anybody that's been stressed out for a long time, taking a lot of medications, maybe drank too much alcohol for too long a period of time, or is just exhausted, milk thistle will help clean the liver. And here it is in an abandoned lot. So as we walk down our city streets, we tend to notice if there's a new billboard or somebody got a new car or if a new apartment building was painted. But what I want you to do is when you walk down the street, look at the plants that are growing up against apartment buildings, in alleyways, up against grocery stores. See how they're constantly changing. Winter, spring, summer, fall, there's always new colors, new textures, and new medicinal plants for us to use.